With everyone and the mother likely going for The Last of Us Part 2 Platinum now that it's on the PS5, I decided to instead go for the new No Return Mode DLC trophies. Having already Platinum, the PS4 version, I was very familiar with the controls and how the game works. Oh, and as an added bonus, here's the base game trophies being unlocked, along with the Permadeath Grounded Mode. Don't you dare take it off. My birthday, my rules. Suits you, Joel. Looking good, champ. There we go. Looks good on you. Put a hat on your companion, which should unlock the trophy. Every last one of them. Collect all of the trophies. So now it's time for the no return DLC, which was the main reason I wanted to jump on this. Now, with that out of the way, let's tackle all 13 of the no return trophies. We'll have three main goals. Complete a full run with all 10 characters, finish every challenge, and finally, the hardest trophy, May Your Death Be Swift, for completing a daily run on the grounded difficulty. Alright, so first, let's quickly go over what this mode actually is. It's a roguelike, meaning each run will be slightly different. It'll consist of six encounters, with the final one always ending with a boss fight. While working our way through them, You'll earn different currencies for upgrading weapons, buying new weapons, or crafting recipes, and also upgrading perks, which will reset after each run. Also, if you die at any point, that run is over. You'll get random encounters, which consist of four different modes. Capture, where you have to kill a few enemies and loot a safe before time runs out. Hunted, where you'll have a timer and you need to survive until it runs out. Assault, which you'll have to survive three waves of enemies. And finally, hold out, where you'll have to defend a teammate. Each encounter may also have random mods. What these are is they kind of change up the gameplay. Let's say, for example, it'll have maybe invisible enemies, or the enemies have increased health or speed. For example, that's a few of them. You get the idea. And that, for the most part, is what the mode is. So, starting off with the first trophy I unlocked, getting an S rank during an encounter. After each one, you'll get rank based on a few factors. It's really easy to earn it. Ooh, my first trophy, true strength. And the new milestone reached as well. Hell yeah. Next, I completed five gambits during one run. Gambits are like little tasks that you'll sometimes get. You won't get one every time, but when you do get one, it'll be in the top left. So complete them, do five in one run. The trophy's yours. All right, there she is. I just need to throw this bottle to distract her. There we go. Risk taker. I then killed 12 enemies during a hunted encounter. Damn. I got no chance. Oh. Become the hunter. Right, I've got to stay sneaky for this one. I've got to loot the safe without killing or alerting anyone. So we're going to stay hopefully in stealth. Just need to get over to it, open it. Burglar. I'll take all that, thank you very much. Oh, that's pretty nice. After that, I killed enemies with five different weapons in the assault encounter. Different melee weapons also count. Oh, chill. Oh, nice. Mixed bag. I then won a round of holdout without my ally falling below 70% health. This one, just stick close to them and you'll get it no problem. Ooh. Trophy, got your back. This next one is for beating all six bosses. 
as mentioned earlier, at the end of each run, you'll have a boss. Every time you beat one, you'll get a new one in the next run. Once you've defeated all six, after that point, you'll just get a random one each time. Alright, okay. That's the first part. Still got you, though. Oh, oh, calm down. There he is. Ooh, another trophy. Good riddance. Beat all bosses. Let's go. After a few more encounters, I had completed an encounter with every mod activated at least once. The game has 26 altogether, and for this one, you're best writing them all down and then crossing them off once you finish them because the game doesn't actually keep track of which ones you've completed. Since these are random, you can uh, actually negate this altogether. You can create what's called a custom run. Here you can choose loads of different things. You can choose what mods are active, which boss you'll face at the end, uh, which modes, what type of enemy shows up. So simply turn off any mods that you already have and the only ones will show up are the ones you don't and you'll basically have this trophy in no time. Also, I'll try and remember to put every mod in the description so you can copy it. Oh, nice. Trophy. Modded. Complete an encounter with each mod. Let's go. I then completed a full run with every character. Again, like the mods, you'll need to keep track of the ones that you've completed since the game won't track them. Right, here we go. This it should hopefully, assuming I don't die, should be the final character I need to get a win with. What the hell just happened? Boom, there we go. Right, we should get the trophy now for completing a full run with every character. There it is, roll call. All right, so all I've got now is I've done all of the challenges for all of the characters here and the mods and stuff. So the only thing I've got left is I need one more challenge with Ellie which is to collect every gun in a run. So I'm going to have to do a run with Ella. And then I think I need to complete an encounter with all bow kills. So the next two were for completing every challenge. All of the 10 characters have a few different challenges. They're all really easy and most can be done in one single run. However, if you are struggling with any of them, like before, you can just set up a custom run, which will make them a lot easier. After completing all of Abby's and Ellie's faction challenge tracks, I ended up unlocking these two all right so might be able to complete the final challenge for yara now which should unlock a trophy i have to complete an encounter using only the bow i've got six shots and there's more than six enemies but if i get a headshot i can pick it back up so i might be able to pull this off Zoom in, I don't break too many of the arrows. Oh, no! Now we got three more enemies. I got three arrows. Just picked another one up. All right, I might be able to pull this off. So as long as you get a headshot. You can pick the arrow back up. If you get like a body shot or something, the arrow breaks. Like that, there, you just saw. Right, there's only one more enemy. This last enemy. There we go. There they are. Boom. There we go. Team Abby. Complete all Abby's faction challenge tasks. So yeah, I just needed the final one. Thank you, Lev, the final one I needed. Now I just need to do the same one more challenge for Ellie. Yes, there we go, the bow. Right, I think this should be the last one. I've just got enough points as well. 12 coins. Yep, there it is. That was the last weapon I needed. Team Ellie. Complete all Ellie faction challenge tracks. Hell yes. So 92%, which means the only two trophies I need now are the two hardest ones, which are to uh, do the daily run of no return on the grounded difficulty. We all know grounded is the hardest difficulty. But the, the kicker with this one is, it's as it says, it's a daily run. So you only get one try a day. Um, I did actually try yesterday. Um, I tried once and I made it all the way to the, the boss. And then tried to rush it because he was almost dead. And 
he just literally one hit me with his big ass weapon and it was gg so I, I probably could have had it yesterday on my first try if i didn't rush it but yeah i get another try today so hopefully that one try that i do today i'll pull it off and then that'll give us 100 percent in no return so uh yeah wish me luck it was now time for the final two trophies complete a daily run and complete a daily run on grounded so of course i combined it the two the annoying thing here is you can only actually attempt it once a day hence the daily run so if you fail unfortunately we'll need to wait until the next day to try again i have however read online that if you delete the game and you save data turn off your ps5 for a few minutes then re-download the game and re-download your data you can try again um, I can't confirm if this actually works because I didn't actually end up needing to use it since I managed to beat the mode on my second day with Joel. So just keep that in mind. It might not work. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if it does. Overall, though, it's honestly not that hard. I'd advise using the accessibility options. This allows you to use aim assist, making headshots super easy so you don't waste ammo since ammo is quite scarce. And... Also, while you're prone, you're completely hidden and invisible, at least until someone does notice you. If you get noticed, you won't be able to go prone and be invisible again. Hopefully that makes sense. If you mostly just try and do the hunted encounters, you can just simply go prone on the ground and just don't move. And as long as no one bumps into you, you should literally be able to just hide the entire time. I'm going to try and get him to go to the trap. Okay, that did a nice amount of damage. It's intense because... Joel can't dodge. That's the problem with Joel. He's got no dodge mechanic, so if I get grabbed, I'm basically screwed. Oh, shit. Oh, this is so freaking intense. We're running low on ammo. Oh, I've got grenades. We good? Just spam grenades, bro. Spam grenades and hope for the best. Have we done? <gasps> I think we done it. Oh my god! Second try. Let's go! May the survival be long. Win a daily run. Please tell me I was ungrounded. Ooh, yes. May your death. Be swift, win a daily run on of no return on grounded difficulty. Let's freaking go. I tried yesterday and failed. Tried today, got it freaking done. Top 100 as well. Let's freaking go. I was so nervous going into this one playing as Joel without a dodge mechanic, but I'm so buzzing, bro. Let's go. That's it. GG's. Thank you for watching, everyone. I've been Mr. Leaning. This has been the No Return DLC Trophies. Take care, and I'll catch you all on the next video.